Hi guys, I thought today you would like to come with me to go shopping at um, a couple of farmers markets or produce stands. Now usually you don't have to go that far to find them. Um, oh, any kind of farmland outside of the city, um, it's good to get it word of mouth rather than just trying to drive around and find them. But sometimes that's exactly what you got to do. Um, a few of them will advertise on places like um, Craigslist, but more often than not, they don't. They'll just put up a few signs at, on um, nearby roads, and that'll be it. Um, you might want to try and check, though, uh, some local... Uh, Facebook groups maybe uh, you could find something on there but otherwise talk to your friends or you know what if you got to go driving through farmland because you're going somewhere else make sure to keep your eyes open um, try and always keep bags with you in your vehicle because a lot of times they don't have those and try and uh, make sure you have low bills for cash don't um, uh, $20 bills is kind of high so if you got something less than that you'll probably be doing pretty good here we go let's see what's in there system and here's your cash box and um, here's you know some of the stuff they have so we got onions here 25 cents each zucchini are 50 cents each and as you can see I'm late on a lot of stuff here the green beans you got a bundle of dill here they're put in water, so that's kind of nice. Those are a dollar. Kale here for a dollar. More onions. Cucumbers, 25 cents each. I don't know what was it. Oh, just bags. That's really great. I'm so happy they have the bags. I did bring my own, though. Beets. Thrilled, thrilled to see these beets. 25 cents each. Way more expensive in the stores. Got a lot more cucumbers here. Got some small zucchini. The small zucchini are a little bit more expensive. They are three for a dollar. Yellow squash, 25 cents each. And then you have some more uh, small red onions. Now here in Wisconsin, um, a lot of our stuff isn't ready yet, like tomatoes will be coming in soon. Um, the peppers are just starting to come in and a lot of the really warm crops. So those aren't ready yet. Um, hopefully I'll get to show you a couple of other farm stands besides this one. But um, here, I'm going to see if you can see this. This is the farmer's field here, at least one of them, and they, they grow um, lavender here. I remember last year they had a lot of lavender, and if you can see that in there. And it's really nice to have that much here, because then you can dry it yourself. And if you look over there, they have some sunflowers. It's kind of hard to tell, I'm sure. And there's a clear on my camera, so I, I don't know what you guys can see right now. but. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a highway here that goes in between, you know, these fields and stuff. But um, this is usually one of my most favorite farm stands. It's just, um, I got here at the end of the day and it's kind of later. Um, I mean, it's early in the season, but maybe you can see down there some of the squash they have going. Wow, some of them are pretty big. Some are pumpkins. So it'll be interesting to come back here later in the season. 
the farmer himself came out before I left and you could see him talking to other customers and it's so nice to be able to talk to people like that the ones who are growing your food and they let you know when all the other stuff's going to be coming in so pretty soon sweet corn tomatoes and peppers Okay, we're at a smaller farm stand, as you can probably hear, right next to a busy highway. So this farm stand really is at the edge of their farm. You can see back there, he's over there on the tractor, and I'm just loving it. Um, it's not far from um, my son's house, so it's very convenient for me. And there's, you know, the, the money box and for bags. I did bring my own, so I don't need it need any of those but um, they have all kinds of goodies here different peppers and tomatoes little eggplants different squash and then the jackpot over there is the fresh corn uh, fresh corn in summer is the best isn't it and this is one of those farm stands that um, does have um, someone always at it these are nice because even though they're usually higher priced will often take um, credit or debit cards and you can um, often also use a snap card or um, like your food stamp card so uh, make sure to keep an eye out for these they often advertise too on places like um, Craigslist and the Facebook groups so make sure to check those out as well so those are three of the different farm stands we have around here in Wisconsin in my area if you shop at any of those, um, let me know down in comments. Let me know if they're similar to the ones that are here or if they are different, how are they different, and um, what area that um, you're in. It'd be interesting to uh, see the differences or not differences um, depending on where you live. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Thumbs up if you liked it and um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It was nice talking to you, and you take care.